Hey, it's Thomas here, and today we're doing a quick review on the Aquatic Life Smart Buddy Booster Pump. If you're looking for a very affordable, easy to understand and set up plug and play booster pump that will transform any standard RO or RODI unit between 50 and 100 gallons per day into an automated system that will auto flush the membrane to extend its life, automatically turn the booster pump on and off when your reservoir is full or you shut off the supply water, all while boosting the water pressure through the system up to 90 PSI for optimal efficiency, then you have to check out the Smart Buddy. I've been using one of these for more than two years now and I love this thing. Starting off with pure H2O to mix your fresh salt water or top off your tank is a must for reef keeping. Tap water can have a ton of contaminants. Anything from phosphate, ammonia, silicate to chlorine, copper, and other nasties can be found in your tap water. Whether you're on city municipal water supply or on a well, it's just a bad gamble and I would never, never use it. To get the cleanest water possible, most reefers make their own RO water at home instead of buying it by the jug since it tends to be the most economical option. One of the most common issues that pop up when making RO water at home is not having enough water pressure from the faucet to get the RO filter up to that 80 to 90 PSI range that they need in order to operate most efficiently. Aquatic Life's Smart Buddy Booster Pump is one of the easiest plug and play solutions for 50 to 100 gallon per day reverse osmosis filters at a phenomenal price point with lots of tech under the hood. Not only is it a booster pump that will get your filter to that 80 to 90 PSI range that it needs, but it will also automatically flush the RO filter membrane to extend its life and automatically turn the pump on and off as needed, not only when paired with a float switch, but also if you turn the water supply going to the RO filter on or off. Off. I'll explain how it does all that and why it's important, but first, let's get it out of the box. So basically, the Smart Buddy consists of a booster pump, solenoid valve, high pressure switch, low pressure switch, an auto flush flow regulator, and power supply, all controlled by a little computer and packed neatly into a compact housing using quick connects and push fittings. One thing I love about this unit is that even though it's an all-in-one type solution, all of the components are easy enough to remove and replace if needed, and Aquatic Life has fantastic customer service, so in the rare event you needed a hand, they've got your back. So with that said, this thing's definitely built to last. The one I've opened up here for you is my two-year-old unit that has had thousands of gallons of water put through it already, and it still looks brand new. I was actually pretty surprised. I was thinking I might have to clean it up, Apparently not. Setup is actually pretty simple, regardless of whether or not you're working with a three stage or four or five or six or seven stage RO unit. Each of the six ports on the front of the Smart Buddy are clearly labeled so you know which tube gets pushed in where, and you can actually look at it as a simple in and out for three different tubes. Now, before you get started, you will want to remove the flow restrictor from your RO filter along with the pressure switch if it has one, since the Smart Buddy has all of that already built in. The Smart Buddy is going to connect to your RO filter in three places right after the sediment and carbon cartridges, before the water enters the membrane housing, between the membrane housing waistline and the drain, and between the product water line and your reservoir. Basically, water goes from the tap to your RO filter supply tube, passes through the sediment cartridge and carbon cartridges, into and out of the yellow ports on the Smart Buddy, then into your membrane housing. From the membrane housing, you have two lines, a wastewater and a product water. The wastewater line will go in and out of the red ports on the Smart Buddy, and then into the drain or wherever you want to send your wastewater. The filtered or product water line from the membrane housing will go first to your DI stage if your filter has one, and then into the blue ports. If your filter doesn't have DI, then you can take your product water line from the membrane housing directly to those blue ports. The line coming out of the blue port labeled out will be your filtered water and can go to a bucket, a bin, float valve, solenoid, or wherever you want to collect the water. Not only is the Smart Buddy a very capable booster pump for your RO system, but where I think it really shines is the convenience and safety features that are built into it. The high and low pressure switches allow the Smart Buddy to automatically turn the pump on or off as needed. For example, if you turn on your faucet to filter some water, it will automatically detect the change in line pressure and turn on the booster pump to make that water. And if you have the product water line going to a float valve, 
When that valve closes, it'll automatically turn off the booster pump even though your faucet is still open. Now, if you then shut off the faucet because you're done making RO, then use up the water in your storage container and the float valve opens back up, the Smart Buddy won't turn the pump on because it knows that the faucet is closed, saving the pump from running dry and preventing damage. So long story short, the Smart Buddy knows exactly when it should or should not be running to protect the pump. Pretty convenient. I don't have to do any thinking. I just leave it plugged into the wall and do whatever I'm doing and it always knows exactly what's going on. On top of that, it will also auto flush the membrane for you every 24 hours worth of water production or runtime, making sure the membrane lasts as long as possible by essentially rinsing it with a higher flow rate. It's also gonna auto flush the membrane every time you plug it into power. So if you alternatively wanted it to flush every time you ran the unit, you could just unplug it from the wall, plug it back in. As soon as you start it up, the first thing it'll do is flush the membrane. And if you wanted to automate that, you could even just stick it on a simple wall timer so that once a day, it shuts the unit off for a minute, turns it back on. And then uh, yeah, as soon as it starts making water, it'll flush. Okay, so the crazy part to me isn't how well it works to do all of these separate things, but the fact that Aquatic Life did it for 130 bucks. The closest I got to piecing it together separately, not including tubing or fittings, came out to well over 200 bucks. Plus, I would still have to have a complete understanding of how it all goes together and then assemble it. No thank you. Now there is one thing it does not do automatically, which is prevent TDS creep. And there are a few ways to tackle it, like using a three-way valve to tee off your product water line so that you can divert that water to a drain for the first few minutes that the unit is running. But if you wanna automate it so you don't have to stand there and turn a valve and wait a few minutes and then turn it back, there is a device you can hook up to your collection container for your RO water that is going to, you know, solve that issue for you. And I've talked about it before. It's right here. So have a look. Together, they're kind of my dream team. I dig it. And I have both.